La France. On the surface, a country awash with culinary delights. Like these. And these. And yes, even these. But scratch a little deeper and you find a vast, gaping hole in their cuisine. Search as you might, there is not a single pie to be found south of Dover. Which is why the generous souls at McDougall's Upper Crust have decided to design and build a 30-foot pie cannon to fire pies over the channel to France. But before we unleash our delicious pastry payload on Claude, we thought it only right to seek advice from experts in the field. What would they make of our daring act of cross-channel charity? Well, who knows what will happen when those pies shoot out of the cannon and arrive on the other side of the channel. It might be completely revolutionary. French cooking might never be the same again. They probably could do with knowing a bit more about English pies. I think they, you know, would broaden their cuisine. We are a nation of pie eaters. As I said to you before, you can see, I'm an authority, you know, I'm an authority of pie. I've been eating them for 55 years. So there's not much I don't know about pies. But you can go anywhere in London, I mean, anywhere in England, and say, get a pie, mate, and they'll have it. It may work. I mean, we've took on their food over. You know, we've got all their baguettes, the French sticks, uh, French cuisines over here on a big scale. Um, we've got loads of French restaurants. Yeah, when I've been to France, I've never seen a pie in my shop. They call me king of the English Channel. I've done 34 crossings, and within those 34 crossings, uh, there are three doubles. For the first hour is OK, if you can forget what's uh, lying ahead. You go to four, five, six, six is the next wall, um, and, and that's even worse. You begin to think, um, I don't want to do this, it hurts. Uh, you begin to feel ill. Uh, sometimes you might be sick in there, you know, but you just carry on. And then uh, nine hours is the really bad one. I know of one swimmer who even ate pies during the swim. In fact, he, he, he ate what he said were individual meat pies, but in fact were family-sized ones, which he just sort of dunked in the water for salt. There's one simple uh, observation I would make, and it's too simple, really. Uh, I mean, a, a pie uh, is, is a relatively fragile device sort of thing, isn't it? Now, you're going to put this in a, you know, a barrel and put a great big charge behind it, and all I can visualise is a, a great number of pieces coming out at the other end. If they splosh down in the mid-channel, they're likely to end up uh, probably round about Dunkirk. And what of the brave and noble men charged with building our pastry firing machine? It's the challenge against what everybody's done in the past. Firing something 21 miles will be, will be a magnificent feat in itself. The biggest one we've seen is outside the Imperial War Museum and they only managed 14 miles, so we've got to be bigger than that. It's not going to be for faint hides when some of that stuff starts going. Is a pie a relatively fragile device? Can you really go anywhere in England, say, give us a pie, mate, and they'll give you one? Will Kevin be sick? Will French cooking ever be the same again? In a nutshell, yeah. Tune in next week to find out more.